Hello, and welcome to A Priori Story Timeless. We're here with Ella Fitz and another elephant, and Saki, who will probably not stay for the whole story. <laughs> but we will see what we get. Do you need a moment to settle down, Mr. Buddy? You do? Well, have a seat. Have a seat. Here he goes. Good job. Okay. This is a story about the uh, the Xia Dynasty. In a very ancient China and the spring festival. From what scientists can tell, these early people were very advanced for their time. They worked together and used a system of irrigation to water the fields. They baked bricks and ovens for strong building materials. The floors of their huts were plaster instead of earth. They used a potter's wheel to make vases and pots. And they were like black. They were deeply religious. They believed in the gods of nature, like the river god and the rain god and the earth god. They believed in a great many gods, but the most powerful god was the sky god, Tian, the king of all the gods, a god more powerful than any earthbound king. In the Xia times, the peasants celebrated spring festival. It was a time to worship the gods of agriculture. They wanted their crops to grow, but they also wanted their families to grow. Several villages would gather for the festival. This is when boys and girls met from other families and one day would become husband and wife. Once upon a time, a long time ago, in Xia times, there was a young, wise woman named Luan Lu. She was very young to be the village wise woman. Still, the people in the village trusted her. If you had a problem, everyone knew you took it to Luan Lu. One day, the sky overhead darkened. The wind picked up and blew wildly. Several young children ran up the hill to Luan Lu's home, dragging a basket behind them. The basket was overflowing with the remains of blue flowers that had been yanked by the wind from the earth. The sky has fallen, they screamed at Luan Lu. The sky has fallen. The children knew this was a very bad time for this to happen. Theirs was the village selected by many others to host this year's spring festival. It was quite an honor. The village would be disgraced without a sky. The children were too young to find husbands and wives at the festival, but their older sisters and brothers had been talking of nothing else. Luan Wu sent the children back down the hill to search for all the pieces of the sky. They tried their best, but the children were worried. The wind had blown everything everywhere. What if they had missed some pieces? The next day, the children ran outside. With great relief, they looked up at a bright blue sky. That night, when they looked up at the sky, they could not believe their eyes. The sky had always been dark at night. Luan Wu had patched the sky with bright, twinkling lights just in time for the spring festival. Thank you for joining us. Tomorrow, I will have my face in the filming. Thank you, Saki. Thank you, elephants. <laughs>